don't think you have anything to worry about, Charlie Brown. After all, studies show that a person's character isn't really established until they're at least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh. Well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> the only thing wrong with my big brother Charlie Brown is his lack of confidence. His inferiority and his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority, and his lack of confidence. His stupidity, his clumsiness, his inferiority, and his lack of confidence, his... Did you know that Charlie Brown has never pitched a winning baseball game? Never been able to keep a kite in the air? Never won a game of checkers? And never successfully punted a football? Sometimes, I marvel at his consistency. I think Charlie Brown has... Nice hands. <laughs> it's truly a dog's life filled with so many challenges. You try acting excited when that round-headed kid comes home from school. <laughs> now, Linus, I want you to take a good look at Charlie Brown's face. Would you please hold still a minute, Charlie Brown? I want Linus to study your face. Now this is what you call a failure face. Notice how it has failure written all over it. Study it carefully. You rarely see such a good example. Notice the deep lines, the dull, vacant look in his eyes. Yeah, I would say this is one of the finest examples of a failure face that you're liable to see for a long, long while. Some days, I wake up early to watch the sunrise, and I get a very positive feeling about things. Like this morning, for instance. The sky is so clear, and the sun's so bright. How could anything go wrong on a day like this? I'm late! With questions in my ear Loud and deep I want to join the dance But the answer isn't clear Then I hear Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown You're a good man, Charlie Brown
The past has always interested people. I must admit, however, that I don't know much about it. I wasn't here when it happened. <laughs> Lunch time is among the worst times of the day for me. Sometimes mornings aren't so pleasant either. Waking up and wondering if anyone would really miss me if I ever got out of bed. Then there's the nights too. Lying there thinking about all the stupid things I've done during the day and all those hours in between when I've done all those stupid things. Well, lunchtime is among the worst time of day. Well, I better see what I've got. Peanut butter. Thumbs up, Roger Sidell. People who eat peanut butter sandwiches are lonely. <laughs> I guess they're right. And they're especially lonely when peanut butter sticks to the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Four. The PTA sure did a good job of painting these benches. There's that cute little red haired girl eating her lunch over there. I wonder what she would do if I went over and sat next to her. She'd probably laugh right in my face. It's hard on a face when it gets laughed in. There's an empty place next to her on the bench. There's no reason why I can't just go over there and sit right next to her. I can do that right now. All I have to do is stand up. I'm standing up! <laughs> I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward, she wouldn't even think of looking at me. She hardly ever does look at me. In fact, I can't remember ever looking at me. Why shouldn't she look at me? Why in the world, why, why can't she look at me? Is she so great and I'm so small that she can't spare one little moment with me? She's looking. She's looking. <laughs> no, you're thinking of that other dress, the one I wore to Lucinda's party. The one I'm talking about was the very light blue one with the design embroidered around the waist. I don't remember. It was something like this. The skirt was like this, and it had these puppy sleeves, and a sash like this. Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> yes, well, that was a dress I was wearing last week when I met Frida, and she told me she'd seen one just like it over at the beauty. Lunch time is among the worst time of day for me. <laughs> if that little right here girl seems to the stupid bag in my head, she must say I'm the biggest fool alive. But if she isn't looking, then maybe I could take it off quickly and she'll never notice it. On the other hand, I can't tell if she's looking until I take it off. Then again, if I don't take it off, I'm never have to know if she's looking or not. On the other hand, it's getting very hard to breathe in here. She's not looking. I wonder why she never looks. Oh well. One more lunch hour with only 2,863 more to go. All I need is one more try. Gotta get that kite to fly. And I'm not the kind of guy who gives up easily.
right. You should never discuss marriage with a musician. <laughs> <laughs> is a fleeting thing, Sally, but I believe a man can truly become closer to it by directing all the forces of his life towards a singular goal that he believes in. And I believe a man's personal search for happiness isn't so much a selfish thing either, because by finding happiness, he can then help others to find it. Does this make sense to you? We had spaghetti at our house three times this week. <laughs> You know, a princess sort of thing. A white dress, some nice slippers, and a big ballroom. But I guess that seems sort of silly, doesn't it, Charlie Brown? No. Oh, no. Not at all. Well, I mean, we all have our daydreams or ambitions or whatever you want to call them. I mean, I had one myself for years, but I never told anyone. What? You can tell me? Oh, no. It's, it's not the sort of thing I should tell. No, I don't think I should. Oh, come on. I wouldn't tell anyone. Come well, I've always wanted to be called Flash! I hate the name Charlie. I want to be real athletic and everybody call me Flash! And I want to be so good at everything that everybody will call me Flash! Yeah. Hey, Bria, get a load of this one! <laughs> taking long walks in the country. He was always inspired by the beautiful sounds of the countryside. You blockhead, come back here with that ball! Ah! Beethoven had it nice. <laughs> La 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 la
brother. I wait very, very still till I see a big one come. I wait knowing very well there was a count. And then like the fierce jungle creature, I, I would bounce. Yeah, I bounce. I bounce. I, 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 you know, I never really realized how far down the ground it is. <laughs> Please God, not bad, not bad at all. Cozy home, wood and bed, sturdy roof beneath my head. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad. Introduce myself. I think I'll introduce myself and then I'll ask her to come sit right next to me. I think I'll ask her to come sit by me and then I think I'll tell her how much I admire her. I think I'll flap my arms and fly to the moon. Yesterday, Today, I'm a dog. <laughs> Tomorrow, uh, I'll probably still be a dog. This is just a little hope of advancement. <laughs> Today is April Fool's Day, Charlie Brown, and I think I'll play a little trick on you. I said, I think I'll try a little trick. You do know what I'm saying, don't you? You do know that this is April Fool's Day? I want to be certain you understand. Got it? <clears throat> hey, Charlie Brown, that little red-haired girl is over there and she wants to give you a hug and a kiss. Really? Wow, this is fantastic. April Fool's, it's just like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> Snoopy, do you see this stick? I, the human being, will throw the stick, and you, the dog, will retrieve it. Fetch! <laughs> I, the dog, could not be less interested. about the Civil War. This is called playing with the past. Really? Certainly. And this is good for it helps these men to cope with their everyday problems. Now I believe that it is going to be absolutely necessary for me to get my blanket back. So I'm just going to give it a good yank. Yeah. It's amazing what you can do with a little smooth talking and some fast action. <laughs> Back again. Bye. Uh -huh.
without a blanket is like eating a cone with no ice cream. <laughs> Quite sure. 
a person can only become a queen if they are born into correct royal lineage so that they may assume the throne after the death of the reigning monarch. Yes, I'm quite sure. I can't think of any possible way that you could ever become a queen. I'm sorry, Lucy, but it's true. <clears throat> and in the summertime, I will go to my summer house, and I'll wear my crown and swimming and everything, and when I go out in my coach, all of the people will cheer, and I will shout at them, and... They always is a loophole. Nobody should be kept from being queen if she wants to be one. It's undemocratic! Good grief! It's usually just a matter of knowing the right people. I've had a few pieces of well-placed correspondence and I get to be queen in no time. I think I'll watch television. I know what I'll do. If I can't be queen, I'll just be very rich. I'll work, and I'll work until I'm very rich, and I will buy myself a queendom. Good grief! That's right. I'll buy myself a queendom, and I'll kick out the old queen, and I'll take over the whole operation myself. I will be head queen. And when I go out in my coach, yeah, when I go out in my coach, all of the people will, will shout, and I will cheer, and... All right, switch channels. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not one of your royal subjects. What makes you think that you can just come in here and take over? These five fingers. Individually, they're nothing, right? But when I curl them together into a single unit, they become a fighting force to behold. That's right. <laughs> Breathe. 
trees now, it's past the trees now, with room to spare. Oh, what a beautiful sight, and I'm not such a clumsy guy, if I really try, I can Are you mad at the sky? Are you mad at the stars? Are you mad at the ground? Are you mad at all the rocks? <laughs> Are you mad at cars and buildings and TV and circuses and roller skates and bracelets? You didn't mention jump ropes. Are you mad at jump ropes? I'm especially mad at stupid jump ropes! <laughs> For you, Lucy. Happy Valentine's. That doesn't sound right. <coughs> this is for you, Lucy. Happy Valentine's. That doesn't sound right either. This is for you, Lucy. Happy Valentine's. Okay, here she comes. Don't get nervous. This is for you, Lucy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Ah! I would do anything in the world if that little red haired girl sent me a valentine. Maybe she did send me a valentine. Maybe it's in her mailbox right now. I'm afraid to look. If I look and nothing's there, I'll be crushed. On the other hand, if she did send me a valentine, I've got to look. Hello? Nothing echoes like an empty mailbox. I've been thinking about why you didn't get any Valentine's, Big Brother. I think I figured it out. You didn't get any Valentine's because no one sent you any! <laughs> I can't stand it! Look at them, enjoying their Valentine's. I sent a Valentine to everyone I know this Valentine's Day. And did I get any in return? No, not one. I did not get one single Valentine. Everybody got Valentine's but me. Nobody likes me. I get as many valentines as a dog. Me. 
Well, that's okay for a starter. A starter? Certainly. You don't think that mentioning these few superficial failings will do you any good, do you? Why, Charlie Brown, you really have to delve. You're stupid, self-centered, and moody. I'm moody. You're terribly dull to be with. Yes, I am. And nobody likes you, not Rita, or Shermie, or Linus, or Schroeder. Or Lucy. Or Lucy. <laughs> or Snoopy. Or Snoop. Now, wait a minute. Snoopy likes me. He only pretends to like you because you feed him. That doesn't count. <laughs> or Snoopy. Oh, how could there possibly be? That's thoroughly, totally, utterly. Wait, you're not very much of a person. That's certain. And yet there is reason for hope. There's hope? For although you are no good at music like Schroeder, happy like Snoopy, or lovely like me, you have the distinction to be. No one else but the singular, remarkable, unique Charlie Brown. I'm me! Yes, it's amazingly true. For whatever it's worth, Charlie Brown, you're you. Gosh, Lucy, you know something? I'm already soon starting to feel a whole lot better. You're a true friend, Lucy. A true friend. That'll be five cents for Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted fudge marble, chocolate, rocky road, vanilla, or butter pecan. I finally decided on fudge marble. Then I had to decide between a plain cone or a sugar cone. I chose the sugar cone. So what happened? I walk out the door and drop the whole thing on the sidewalk. Don't tell me my life isn't a Shakespearean tragedy. <laughs> It's my grandfather's birthday, Charlie Brown. How old is he? 63. It's hard to believe at one point he was a human being. <laughs> Why is it that I have my supper in the red dish? And my drinking water in the green dish. One of these days, I'm going to have my supper in the green dish and my drinking water in the red dish. Life's just too short not to live it up a little. <laughs> Money? Who cares about money? This is art. You blockhead. This is great music I'm playing. And playing great music is an art. Do you hear me? An art! A R T! Art! 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 Oh, you fascinate me. <laughs> Go, Snoopy, up and at him. It's a magnificent day for chasing rabbits. The air is clear, the sun is shining, the fields and woodlands lie open and inviting. Well, if it's such a magnificent day, why spoil it for the rabbits? Come on, Snoopy. What is that old thrill of the chase? Where's your spirit of adventure? What kind of a dog are you, anyway? I am a sleeping dog. You take it from there. You should be ashamed of yourself, wasting a perfect day like this. The scent is fresh. The trail is clear. Let's go track us down a big old rabbit. Well, I get the feeling she's determined. <sighs> okay, she might as well get her money's worth. Attaboy, Snoopy. We ought to see lots of game today. <laughs> Thank you.
Today hasn't been such a good day for me. And sometimes when you're depressed, all you want to do is stare into space. Just stare into space and lean your head on your arms. Sometimes this could go on for hours. And when you're unusually depressed, you may have to switch arms. <laughs> Schroeder, what did you do with that picture of me that I gave you? Oh, I threw it away! <laughs> and with your own two hands? Of course! Ah, he touched my picture! <laughs> it really has been fun. Thank you. Thank you. It really hasn't been such a good day for me. Maybe if I'm lucky, tomorrow will be better. In some parts of the world, Charlie Brown, tomorrow is already today. And today is yesterday. So if tomorrow is already today, Charlie Brown, then there is no possible way that tomorrow can be a better day. Rabbits. Rabbits. Rabbits? A book report on Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Hmm, eighty-three to go. <laughs> the name of the book about this. This book report is about is Peter Rabbit, which is about this rabbit. I found it very. I liked the part where. It was a... <coughs> it reminded me of Robin Hood! And the park where little John jumped from the rock to the sheriff of nine comes back. And then Robin and everyone's struck with the trees in a sudden surprise attack. Yeah, they captured the sheriff and all of his goods and they carried him back to their camp in the woods and the sheriff was guessing the dinner and all wriggle away and he sounded the call. His men rushed in and the arrows they flew. Peter Rabbit did sort of that kind of thing too. <laughs> 22, 23, home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have any more words, such as Peter Rabbit, it is important that the superficial characteristics of its deceptively simple plot should not be allowed to blind the reader to its more substantial fabric of its deeper motivations. In this report, I plan to discuss the sociological implications of family pressure so great as to drive an otherwise moral rabbit to perform acts of thievery which he consciously knew were against the law. I also hope to explore the personality of Mrs. McGregor and his conflicting roles as farmer and humanitarian. The rabbit from the start is established as a benevolent hero, and it is only with the seems to If I start writing now when I'm not really rested, it could upset my thinking, which is no good at all. I'll get a fresh start tomorrow, and it's not good till Wednesday, so I'll have all the Tuesday, unless something should happen. Why does this always happen? I should be outside playing, getting fresh air and sunshine. I work best under pressure, and there'll be lots of pressure if I wait till tomorrow. I should start writing now, but if I start writing now when I'm not really rested, it could upset my thinking, which is no good at all. Just like rabbits who run a lot, as you can tell from the story of Peter Rabbit, which this report is about. <laughs> rabbits, 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 shaky rabbits!
cheap, we used to call it. We used to burst beneath my blade. The red baron that spotted me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't get me. Actually, tough flying aces never say yeah, yeah. I just ah, drop this fall. It's hard enough having to fight the red bear without having to fly in weather like this. All right, red bear, where are you? You can't hide forever. The sun has broken through, and I can see the woods of my saddle glow. So beautiful. Lovely. And what's that? It's a Falker triplane. Ha! I've got you this time, Red Baron. Ah, he's tricking me. He's diving down out of the sun. Ah, come on, stop with him. I've got to run. I said, come on, camel. Go, camel, go. Uh, we got to run faster than this. Let's go, camel, go. Oh, he's right behind us. We've got to run. Come on, camel. Oh, my God, run. Ah, this is the last day, this is it! I only have 24 hours left, help me, help me, 
new philosophy. <laughs> You're so great. Mozart was writing symphonies when he was your age. I'll bet it did. If we really could our teeth and bear it down, I'm sure we could. Perhaps you should not be playing manager, Charlie Brown. Perhaps you should be bench manager. That's a great idea. You'd be a great bench manager, big brother. You could say, bench, do this, or bench, do that. You could even be a judge of a way put the bench. You could say, let's put the bench here, or let's put the bench there. I can't stand it. What's the point of our playing if we know we're going to lose? If we had even a million to one chance we might win, it makes some sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, you may not have a million to one chance, but we should have got a billion to one chance. Yeah! Come on, give me a T. T. E. 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 What happened today at the baseball game? I was the manager, Schroeder was catcher, and all of the team was the same as always. But somehow we're all a disaster struck at the baseball game. Hold up! Where you live 
it's really quite far. Can you please send directions on how I can get where you are? Your friend, Charles. for abstention? Certainly. Always a check mark at none of the above. Now, this next question deals with physical appearance. Regarding my beauty, would you say that I was stunning, mysterious, or intoxicated? Well, gee, Lucy, you look just fine to me. Stunning! All right. Just as a check mark at stunning, then. I think it's time we get back to that first question, Charlie Brown. On a scale of 0 to 100, using a standard of 50 is average, 75 is average. All right! Remember the question, Lucy. Well... 51? <clears throat> 51 is your crabbiness reading for me. Well, that about does it, I guess. Thank you very much for helping with their survey, Charlie Brown. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. It was my pleasure, Lucy. Anytime. Come on, Snoopy. Oh, one more question. Would you answer yes or no to the following statement? Is Lucy Van Pelt the sort of person I would like to have as president of my club or civic organization? Oh, yes. By all means, Lucy. Yes. Well, that about does it. Thank you very much once again. <laughs> well, who asked you? Shorter was right. I can already feel myself being filled with the glow of self-awareness. Oh, Sally, I'm conducting a survey, and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind answering. A hundred and ten. See, poor, none of the above. No. And what are you going to do about the dent you made in my bicycle? Me in regards to crabbiness. 
<laughs> You're my big sister. That's not the question. No, but that's the answer. Let the mom find us answer the question. Look, Lucy, I know very well if I give any sort of honest answer to that question, you're going to slug me. Linus, a survey that is not based on honest answers is like a house built on a foundation of sand. Would I be spending my time to conduct this survey if I didn't expect complete candor in all of the responses? I promise not to slug you. <laughs> now, what would your crappiest rating be for me? 95? <laughs> <laughs> It's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. <laughs> anyway, 51, 95, and I've got my answer. It's true. I'm a crabby person. I'm a very crabby person. And everyone knows it! I've been spreading my crabbiness everywhere I go. I'm a super crab! It's a wonder one will still talk to me. It's a wonder I have any friends at all. Or even business associates. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? How could I have been so selfish? How could I? What's wrong, Lucy? Don't talk to me, Linus. I don't deserve to be spoken to. I don't deserve to breathe the air I breathe. I'm no good, Linus. No good at all. That's not true, Lucy. Yes, it is. I'm no good. And there's no reason at all why I should deserve to go on living on this planet. Well, sure there is. Name one. Give me one single solitary reason why I should deserve to go on breathing anymore. Well, for one, you have a little brother who loves you. <laughs> Every now and then, I say the right thing. <laughs> at the assembly tomorrow. The assembly tomorrow? Charlie Brown! Charlie Brown! Linus! Linus! <laughs> Lucy! Give me back that pencil, you blockhead! No! Not until you promise to give me back my crayon! That is my best pencil, you Hey! <laughs> if you don't give me that pencil, I'll tell Sally what you said about her. Stop that! We've got rehearsed your late! What did you say about me, Linus? I'm sorry, I'm late. But Snoopy, there's no time to be sorry. What did he say? He said. Quiet! <laughs> now remember, this is a mood piece. We must paint a picture with music and words. And concentrate! All day. <laughs> 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 
wondered when it was that dogs first began regarded as man's best friend. Probably right after the invention of cookies. <laughs> My teeth are tingling again, and I feel like I've got to bite someone before sundown, or I'll go stop raving mad. And yet, I know that society frowns upon such action. So what happens? I sit here with my teeth tingling all day. Each family has a chain of command. And do you know who's the lowest on that chain? Guess, it's the dog! The dog is the lowest! <laughs> do you understand that? I said, do you understand that? They hate it when you stare at them like this. <laughs> 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 Hi, Linus. Where are you going? Lucy's teaching me, Charlie Brown. She says it's a sister's job for the education of her little brother. So she's teaching me. Boy, is she intelligent. So 
much and sweet We just said to slake our thirst Okay, there's no need for a big production Just get off that doghouse and eat! <laughs>
Happiness is those who sing with you.